Adam and welcome to another sales update. So in today's sales update it's going to be eBay bread and butter sales and um, also one of the photos is really terrible so please don't judge me it was like a year or a year and a bit ago so I was really inexperienced and I did terrible photos. Um, but now I have got a really really good photo setup so my photos are a lot better now and I will never do a photo of the same quality as the one you will see later on in the sales update. So Oh bloody, oh right yeah I already know about that. I was just going to say, oh bloody hell I've got a return request on my, uh, eBay but I, he already messaged me about it before so I can't really be upset about it anyway because we already worked out that he was returning me item. Um, anyway, so with that being said, that's a great start to a sales update isn't it? Oh I've just got a return. But anyway, so um, right, first off, uh, Lees of London, Black Fedora Trolby, uh, £12.34 plus 2.99 uh, postage. Yeah, really happy with that sale, nice and easy. All profit after postage and fees because I have made profit on that hat job lot. If you remember quite a while ago, I got uh, 25 pa for 25 pound plus commission at um, one of my local auction houses. I got a massive job lot of hats. I went through, there was some really nice ones in there. And yeah, there was some, I think it was a couple of 20 quid hats. Uh, was quite a few 10 pounds, you know, 10 to 15 pound hats like this one. Uh, in there, and then there was obviously a few that I had to donate to charity that just really w weren't worth my time, you know, to list. Even if I listed them on a 99p auction, we probably just wouldn't go, uh, kind of hats like that. But at least, you know, they've gone to charity and hopefully someone will make some use out of them. Um, so yeah, that was that one. Next is the Best of Blondie uh, Vinyl LP, is it? Yeah, Vinyl LP 1981, 12 inch. My first ever record sale. I play taste. Uh, I play tested this one. I laid it out nicely for the photograph, uh, photographs, and um, yeah, really, really happy with that sale. I know it's only a ten pound sale, but it's the first sale, my first record sale. So I was very, very happy with it, you know. And I did put a lot of effort into, um, you know, put setting it up nicely, um, play testing it as well, because that took quite a while play testing it, because it's like forty minutes each side and. I was getting on with a bit of other work while I was listening to it, but also, you know, it is work actually putting it on there for 40 minutes or so. Although, it didn't feel that much like work, so you could argue it wasn't that much work, but still. It's probably the most amount of time I've ever put into one listing, though, because, like, with playtesting it, photographing it, and then listing it, I probably put in, like, an hour and 15 minutes work into one listing, which is pretty, pretty crazy to think, really. Um, next was this vintage Gans Bros 1981 Winkles dog hand puppet. Really cool looking uh, little hand puppet this one. Um, sold for 19.99 plus postage and I bought it for 4.99. Sold within like three weeks so I obviously got the price pretty, um, pretty good on that one. And um, yeah, not much else to be said. I hope someone, who, I hope whoever's got it, you know, is enjoying it because um, I bet that would be. I bet that'd be great for a little kid or something. You know, I can imagine that's the kind of thing over the side of a bath or something like that. I swear I've had this conversation with you guys before about the bath situation, but I don't know about the whole puppet over the side of a bath. I swear I've said that in another sales update, but maybe not. Um, right next was this large vintage co copper and glass cold scuttle. Um, Twenty quid plus postage, standard sort of sale. Really nothing spectacular. This one wasn't. You know, outstanding, outstanding. It wasn't like really ornate or anything like that, but still a nice little bread and butter sale. I probably got this in a, a commission, like a fifteen pound, twenty pound plus commission job lot. Um, I had maybe one, two, three boxes worth of copper and brass in, so probably doesn't owe me that much to be honest. Probably like two or three quid at most, really. So yeah, quite happy with that. Um, this is the one with the pretty bad photo, so I apologise in advance, or I, well, I already did apologise in advance. Um, this is a Devlo 2 home plug adapter DLAN high speed infinite cable, 2 for up to 85 megabytes per second. God, I, do, I did not understand one bit of that title, I really didn't. God, it was so long ago that I listed that, I didn't even, I don't even know what it is, it was that long ago, God. I even forgot for a time that I even had this. Um, I did show it on a haul video though, and I paid £2 for this, and I eventually got £38 plus postage, so pretty happy with that one, you know, a slightly higher value range. Um, Bop It, yeah, Bop It still actually sell, but very, very slow, and only in quarter four, really. Uh, Bop It XT Black, electronic handheld skill game. 
fourteen pound twenty four. Paid I believe two pound ninety nine for that. So not the greatest profit, but still there's something in there. Um, next was a Ghost Castle um, MB Games forty four ninety nine. Missing a couple of bits here and there, but not you know nothing major. Um, I think there's about four bits missing, including the two lamp posts. So yeah, you know there wasn't loads and loads missing, but forty four ninety nine for that. I'm fairly happy with that to be honest. I actually got this in a large bundle from a former reseller and I, I don't know what I paid for it, I imagine about 10 quid, something like that. I was paying up on a few of the items, but also he gave me a fair deal on other items, so it kind of worked out fairly alright to be honest. Um, but yeah, in the bigger bundle I would imagine this worked out about a tenner, so yeah, quite happy with, quite happy with that. Um, Prestige, I actually won a, uh, a food hamper from a charity shop that was doing a raffle. I thought, oh, I'll put my name down, see if I win. It was only a pound, and um, I won this hamper. And inside the hamper was a load of, you know, all the, like, the standard hampery type stuff, like you've got Scotch shortbread and stuff like that, loads of different bits and bobs and jams and preserves and marmalade and stuff like that. There was even a random stick of uh, Blackpool rock or something in there. I don't know why that was in there, but, yeah. What I said to myself was, if I win it, I bet you that hamper will go for some money. So what I did was I took everything out of the hamper, like all the food stuffs, and I sold the hamper, it was a prestige hamper, and I sold that for 15 quid. <laughs> so I ended up getting my quid back and making profit on the raffle, and also getting a load of free food. So, I mean, that is how you do reselling. That is just, that is class, you know. But, um, no, that was really funny. So, uh, yeah, quite happy with that sale. Uh, this was a Top Drive Plus Logic Free driving steering wheel. This was for, I believe, PS1, PS2, something like that. Uh, £24.01 plus 5 .99. I did accept a best offer because, obviously, that's a bit of a weird number. Um, I did accept a best offer of £24.01 from... Thirty pound or twenty nine ninety nine, I think I had it up as. Uh, at. I paid like fifteen quid or twenty pound plus per commission for a large job lot of toys and things like that from the auction. So this basically covers my cost. So I'm quite happy with that one. Nice little sale there. And then finally for this sales update um, is a Sony Smart Engine video cassette recorder, um, thirty seven ninety nine plus postage. Can't remember where I got it. Well, I, I do remember it was a car boot. I think I know the car boot it was at. Now, I paid £2 for a Sony one, uh, one car boot, but then at another car boot, I believe I paid like 5 or £10 for a Sony one. So, I don't know whether this was like the 5 or £10 one or the £2 one, but either way, the maximum it's cost me is £10, and, you know, I flipped that into 37 99 plus postage, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and as you can see there at the bottom, it was collection in person, so the guy came round. Really nice guy, really communicative, really communicative if that's a word. Uh, really communicative on eBay, I'd say, if that's a word. Um, and yeah, really lovely when he came around, so that was all done and dusted. Um, so yeah, that is the sales for now. As I say, I'm going to record another sales update as well, and uh, doing another 10 sale to show you, because I like doing the, the small segments of 10 sales. It's quite a nice, easy manageable chunk for both me to record and for you as the viewer to watch so yeah i'll leave it there guys for this one if you enjoyed the video please do give it a like down below and if you want us to comment on any of the sales you've seen then please do drop a comment down below you know with whatever your thoughts are i will see you in the next one guys and thank you very much for watching Jesus. Right, um, anyway, so, uh, let's get going. Um, let's get, uh, right, 